we have just arrived on PP Island. We took the slow ferry this morning, which took us about two hours to get here. As soon as you get here, they load all of your bags onto one of these little carts, which they then take through the streets of PP because there's no cars, as far as I know, on the island. Maybe you'll prove me wrong, leave me a comment if you are. But in a couple of minutes, we're gonna to head to our accommodation. This guy taking the luggage is walking so fast, can't keep up with it. <laughs> Made it. That guy like, was as fast as a bloody motorbike. Right, welcome to our room now. It's got both of our big backpacks. Look at that TV. Don't think we're plugging the fire stick into that. I bet some young people that come traveling have never seen a TV like this. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah. It's an odd generation. Like early 20s. When you only had the five channels unless you had Sky. I mean, we were only young, but still. Oh, yeah. You oh! Know, like, you know the, the static shock <laughs> offer? Forgot that existed. <laughs> price of this place, it was a little bit more expensive than back on, say, the mainland. It is about £30 a night, and that's normally more than we would choose to spend, but it seemed to be one of the best budget options on PP. We have been to the pool this morning, and we've just chilled literally in the pool for a little while because it is hot out there. And now we're going to go and get some food, and we've heard about this really cool place that's down by the beach, so let's go and take you there. Okay, so we've just had a spot of food at a place called Atom and it was really nice. I had a pad thai. It's only about three pounds, but it was so nice. And I was just having a walk around, having a bit of a, a wander at some of the shops. Okay, I'll show you what it's like. Okay, we're just at the pier where we got dropped off this morning. It's a lot less busy now. I think we came at the time of day when everybody comes because some people only come for a day trip here. The other interesting thing to note here is there's no cars or bikes, more surprisingly. It's such a small, but it's quite a big town, but everything is so condensed and everything's so close together. It's just walking streets everywhere. And everyone uses these carts to lug around people's luggage or deliveries. You can see loads of guys now going to the, going to the pier to pick up deliveries and to deal them. Speak of the devil, like that. So we're just on this side where you can see the sea there, where all the boats are. And then you might not be able to see just yet, but right in the distance there is the water again. So the other side is the island. It sort of goes thin in the middle and then wide on the outside. Someone actually said it's kind of the shape of a H, like a bubble letter H. Oh wow, this piece looks nice. White sand. So it's a short walk and you find yourself on one of the prettiest beaches here on the PP Island. White sands all the way, the sea is out, meaning it's really big at the moment. Beautiful. I've seen a couple of videos where people come to PP and it's like Instagram versus reality. And I think that's because you dropped off over that side and it's full with boats. Like you can't go, I think you'd have to go right to the end to be able to go in the sea and to go on the beach. But immediately either side, it's, there's long boats and then there's the ferries and the speed boats. So I think people come here and they're like, oh, this is not what I expected. Now this beach is, I think, what you expect. So if you do come to PP, when you get off of the boat, all the way down to this beach. It looks like the water comes all the way up from there to here. So you've only got that bit of the beach. Just come later in the day and you've got all of this. We're that far from the beach, stood in it, angle deep, <laughs> there's a boat. <laughs> Said this a lot, particularly in South Thailand and Krabi province, but it is just absolutely stunning out here. Like, just can't put into words how pretty it is. And I just wonder if it will come across on the camera. It makes me really regret that we forgot, well, not even that we forgot, but that we didn't realize that we needed a drone license because we'd love to be able to show you guys some of this scenery on the drone. So we are up a little bit later today. It is gone one and we've only just left our room. We're definitely having a catch up day and a bit of a lazy day, but also a doing day today. So we need to pick up our laundry. We also need to go and book a ferry for when we leave Fifi, else we've got no way off the island. And we need to, well, so we need get to do? Get sun cream. Get sun cream, we've run out of sun cream. We have bought so much sun cream on our trip, but that's just because the weather has been 
so beautiful the whole time we've been in Southeast Asia. We've really had very few rainy days apart from in Northern Vietnam. So it's a bit of a doing day, lots of tasks, but the first task of the day is go and find ourselves a bit of brunch. So we're in the restaurant, so to this place called Hatchery. But the menu here is the skin same. It's like reading through a magazine. And actually, it's not of picking food as it is in a normal place with a normal menu, let alone this. So I think we might be here a while. Okay, so after the expectation, I've seen all the pictures of the food, and it looking amazing. I think the fact that it was such a big menu should have been a red flag. When it came out, it looked nothing like it did on the menu. So Luke didn't order anything, so we're going to go somewhere else for the week. Fortunately for me, I was still deciding by the time Ashley's food came out, and as soon as I saw it, I wrote it off. There's also a place down here, I think it was called Jojo, that I was looking at yesterday. It had really good reviews, a really small little cafe. So I might just go and try and get a quick bite, but ending on a positive note, the one thing I will say about that place is the coffee was good. So if you want a coffee, go get a coffee there, but I wouldn't recommend it for food. On to the next. Good jar jar. Healthy, delicious. Oh, I'm gonna get food envy, aren't I? Luke's unhealthy. This looks good. Fruit. Mango passion fruit, granola, nuts. Yeah. Some kind of smoothie. Strawberry smoothie, I think. Cool. So yeah, if you've seen me see guys, I'm trying to be a little bit healthy. <laughs> I haven't even been drinking. It's got a really good, almost bacony taste. Bacon? No, I know that's a weird way to describe it. I'm happy to give you a spoonful, but just taste these nuts and see if you reckon that's got bacon in taste. You really good. Is it because it's salty? It's like, it's good. Oh, yeah. Like smoky bacon crisps. That was absolutely fantastic. The smoothie roll was absolutely beautiful, so I definitely recommend. Okay, watching collected, so wander off the list. You go and drop this off and then continue wandering the island. We're heading up to the viewpoint, which is up there that you can see. Shouldn't take us too long. Oh, look at this little boy. Oh. Hi. Viewpoint, this way. Coming down fruit. Some people look a bit sweaty. There's a lot of steps to get up to this viewpoint, but we are coming near to sunset. I couldn't imagine doing this in the peak of the day, although there are buildings up here. So I imagine this is somebody's everyday trip to and from their home or from some of the guest houses up here. Makes me glad we're down there. As you can hear, I'm already out of breath. So viewpoint one and two. Five minutes doesn't sound long, but when you're climbing stairs. Oh my gosh. That actually looks the same ladders. Just having a little break. So we've got some stairs to go. I'm not sure if you can tell on the camera, but I am absolutely dripping with sweat after that walk up the stairs. Now we have been told by some people that we met in the swimming pool back at our accommodation that viewpoint two is actually a better viewpoint. So we're gonna skip viewpoint one and walk on to viewpoint two instead. Hey, baby. Pretty babe. Yeah, dripping. <laughs> It wasn't that long of a climb up to it. It's just very steep. Okay, that is where we're going to up there. Wet. The cream's coming off. <laughs> okay, here we are. So this is where you get dropped off of the boat. And then we walked between the two beaches the other day. It was crazy hot going up there, guys. So I hope you appreciate us doing this for you. We've come to show you. It for you. Sunset. We're not doing it for them. Doing it for us and for you. But we're going to go back down there in a second because this beautiful big tree is kind of blocking the view from this cafe. But we're just going to get some cold drinks before we sit down there for the yeah. sunset. The big tree is kind of in the way from here, which is why I assume there was no one else here or sat up there. Everyone has sat down there. Got ourselves a drink. There's a slight high here. As you know, I'm not great with heights. I'm just trying to ignore it. <laughs> also, it's the, it is the evening, but since it's 31 degrees, it feels like 37. That will explain why we're so sweaty. Look at the sky now. So pretty. Right, we're walking down in the dark now. Oh, look at the sky. Yeah, there were lights on the way down. I just worry about the steps, they were so steep. Okay, we made it to the bottom of the hill. I did not expect to be 
this way by the time we got down those yeah. steps we are both absolutely dripping again the thing we were warned about whilst we were in south of thailand is to make sure that all of our accommodation had a pool and that was such a great tip yeah. because especially because the sea out here can sometimes be filled with little jellyfish and although they're not deadly at this time of year they do still sting having that pool in the accommodation has been an absolute lifesaver we've decided to come seek some refuge in the aircon and then we need to go and find ourselves a little place for dinner now we're thinking we need to get back on the thai food we've been in thailand for far too long eating far too many western meals so it's time for us to go and find a little bit of thai food tonight look how good that is Definitely recommend that place. Anna's was really good Thai food, but definitely jinxed us with the weather earlier today. <laughs> really had very few rainy days. The heavens have opened. We've got a 10 minute walk back to our place, so let's go. Just for reference, that meal cost us about £13. Hey! So Ashley decided to save some of the prawns from our food. <laughs> so, Kat's got a little treat. Oh. <laughs> so many cats on this island, I love it. Oh, you're welcome. Did that? Oh. Morning. Oh. We've just left our room because we're getting a boat today to Maya Bay. And it's super, super early. Absolutely no chance we would be up at this time of the morning if we weren't getting a tour to Maya Bay. Now, the reason we chose to do such an early tour is because we want to skip the crowd. So we're hoping that by catching a sunrise boat tour at 6.15 in the morning, we will do just that. So the long tail boat is behind us. We're about to get on in just a second. Now this costs us about 56 pounds for two people. And it is a three hour private boat tour this morning. So it's just the two of us. I'm really excited to go and see what Maya Bay has to offer. Let's get on the boat. So we have arrived at Maya Bay. We cannot go into Maya Bay because it is protected to ensure that no further damage happens after all of the crazy tourism of a couple of years ago, which unfortunately damaged things like the coral here and affected the local sea life. So we can't go into the bay, but we can sit here and admire the beauty that surrounds us it is Maya Bay. If you've heard of Maya Bay before, you probably know that the beach, the film with Leonardo DiCaprio was filmed here. And we were just saying that it feels much more open than we thought. We imagined it was much more enclosed. I don't know whether it looks different on camera or, or not, but yeah, it didn't feel is almost in the movie it was like a secret a yeah. secret bay that like you couldn't see it from the open water but it's quite open behind us i hope we actually get to go on the beach so the boat can't go up to the beach here you have to stop at this line but you can go on the beach you can walk on it but i've heard that you get dropped off at the other side and then you walk over to the sun so i'm hoping that's the case Okay, so we're right. We arrive on this side of the island and we walk across. Just disembarked on the pier and we're going to walk across to Maya Bay now. Now it is a 400 baht per person fee to come into the national park, which is this island, which contains three bays, including Maya Bay. Now it's a short walk across to the other side. Now we were just doing a bit of quick Googling when we were on the boat okay. and Maya Bay has been closed for four years to allow recovery reopening in around 2022 to allow tourists back onto the beach. Welcome to Maya Bay. So when you think of the PP Islands, the bigger island, PP Don, is where all the hotels are and where we are staying. And then this is Kopi Kopi Pili. Yeah, that's right, Kopi yeah. Pili, which is a smaller island of three bays. As we were coming in, you could see that it was open from 7 a.m. As we were pulling up to the dock, we see a massive group of people walking up, and we thought, oh my gosh. It was clear that they were waiting until 7 a.m. to be let into the national park. So we're going to see what it's like 
at opening time. There's already a big group of people in front of us. I'm already feeling grateful that we've come at this time of day and we're not coming later on because I imagine it will be heaving. You can see on here what we mean about how open it actually is. But then obviously from here, it doesn't look that open. It's quite enclosed just by the angle of the beach. There we go. This is what it's like already. People queuing up to get a photo of the sign. I'm actually quite shocked how many people are here at this time yeah, already. I, so I thought it would be like maybe two or three people. Yeah. The sand is absolutely amazing. It's so ridiculously wide. Okay, so just walking along Maya Bay Beach, and we've just been told at the other end of the beach there's actually a bunch of baby sharks hiding in the coral, and some of the bigger sharks forcing them in a little bit further so they can seek a little bit of shelter. So we're going to go and check that out, but this place is just ridiculously stunning. It's already getting a little bit hot today, and the sun doesn't even feel like it's fully in the sky yet. We can't even see the sun where we are. It's still a bit shady. But I'm so glad that we came already in the morning, guys. While we do that, I'll come in near to sunset like when it's a little bit quieter. I fully recommend it. And you can book this on Get Your Guides. It's really easy. Anything that's moving, that's a shark. Oh, there's oh, always a fish! Nice one there, Yeah. It's like proper gliding through the water. Ooh. That's crazy. Oh my god. That's so cool. <laughs> Yeah, too far. Another one. Oh my god. Okay, I'm glad we can't swim here. We're just, just like... Uh, look, there's one, two, three, four, five. That's it's three. really cool to watch from here, but if you were in there, I think you'd be like panicking a bit. saying on the microphone tannoy i don't know what it is mega fan five thousand five thousand guests come through here a day so you can just understand and that's when it's like just partially open like you can't go in the bay you can't go in the water just people come in and see my bay you can imagine how crazy it would have been when people were like swimming here and the boats were here and the speed boats were here and yeah i think it's a good thing what they did they did the right thing because these sharks in here like, this is quite a highlight of the trip seeing these little baby sharks is so <laughs> freaking cool <laughs> Okay guys, time for us to start heading back to the boat. I can't tell you how amazing that was seeing the little sharks. It was just such a cool experience. I've never experienced anything like that in my life, seeing so many little baby sharks in the wild. The gross jellyfish here, guys. That's like a dead sea urchin, I think. That's weird, I want to talk to you about it. Or like, no, sea cucumber or something, I don't know. It's alive! It's alive! And let me know in the comments what the heck that ah. is. It's just had some interesting information from the guy with the tannoy and he was saying that the baby sharks are yellow, teenager sharks are grey and it's the adult sharks that are black. He was telling us that the baby sharks actually get eaten by the adult sharks which is why they seek refuge back here in the shallows and in the coral which is why you can see them so close up with the older sharks being a little bit further out in the bay. So a little bit of interesting information but we're going to head back now because like I say, it's getting on. We need to go catch our boat and on to the next destination. It's definitely started to get busier, I think, than when we first got here. A bit busier on this side now. <laughs> Pulling our boat over. Here comes our dude. Now uh, we're back on the boat. It's a little bit breezy. There's some great clouds in the sky, so I'm hoping it's going to stay dry today. Fingers crossed. Either way, I think the next stop might involve us getting in the water. This just looks insane, guys. Yeah. It's a shark, so a shark. Okay. I don't think there would be. It's so like shallow. No, but it's not shallow. This feels more like the beach than the beach but from my bay, <laughs> like with this enclosed area with swimming and stuff. I'm guessing there's no sharks here. I don't see any sharks. You feel like Leonardo DiCaprio? Then the shark does come through, isn't it? 
Is it? Yeah. I got in the water as well, hesitantly. But then getting back in is a challenge because the, the um, steps start where the water starts. So it's quite a picture. Luckily, I'm not going to be the one on camera. <laughs> It's <laughs> a mine of Cute. Luke said I'd better eat all of this because he doesn't like it. <laughs> so we think that's Viking Cave. Viking Cave? Yeah. We think that's Viking Cave. And we're going to do a spot of snorkeling here. We don't have the GoPro with us today because unfortunately we forgot to clear the memory cards, which is cool. Let's see how good you look. Now, I always struggle with getting water in my snorkel, so if anyone's got any top tips... Because you've got a small head. Know. It gets in through my nose area, I've got a big noggin. The way it just does something to your top lip... <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, wait, that's why when you smile, like, it creates a gap in there. Don't smile. Don't smile. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that's one of the more impressive like, holes I've seen. Yeah, to pull them down the GoPro. That was so cool. Yeah, shame we didn't have the GoPro. Probably some of the best snorkeling I'd say I've ever done. The coral was so cool and the fish were just like plentiful in there. There was so much to see. Fortunately, we can't show you guys. We don't have a GoPro. It's just one of those things that you're going to have to come here and see for yourself. Okay, we've just arrived in our final location for this boat tour, and that is Monkey Bay. So we are on the lookout for the monkeys. I can see the monkeys! <laughs> monkeys on the beach! It's actually been a couple of hours since we got back from our boat tour this morning. So in fact it's half three and we finished the tour about ten and I've been sleeping pretty much most of that time. We took a nap and it turned into basically, basically sleeping but that's what you get for getting up at five in the morning. But anyway, we're out now, we're going to go get some food. Anyway, we're off to a place called As Good Restaurant and they seem to serve a mixture of food. Looks like it is indoors so we can make the most of the air con but it's about a ten minute walk away. So we're going to head through the centre of town and we'll see you a little bit nearer. Okay, we're pretty early for dinner time. So there's not really anyone else here which is kind of a worry when you're ordering food and no one else is here but also it's the time of day. So the yeah. only place that really was busy was McDonald's. I'm no concern. This is going to be better than McDonald's. And I've looked at the reviews beforehand and it's great eat well, so... Shut the strawberry smoothie. Bloody beautiful. So we're just giving it a cheesecake. An Oreo could be a cause. I've taken the cheesecake. Ash has gone for the Oreo. He means ice cream. How cute. Oh! Mm. Right, so Luke went for... for a chicken burrito and then decided I'd be a little bit naughty and get some chips. Shouldn't have done it, I'm naughty. <laughs> I've got beef basil, not spicy. You can get the spicy bit. What is on those chips? What are they orange? It's like chili flakes. That's not chili flakes. Chili salt and chili spice. Salt and chili chip? No, you're wishful thinking there. Oh, cheesy. somewhere else to get a little bit of dessert and we've heard about this place called Cory Cory. I might not be pronouncing that right but apparently it does the best desserts on Fiji so let's go and give it a go. It's like drinking mint ice cream but it's like weird because I've never drank it before. Do you not need to mix that? Wouldn't that taste different if you do? Are there cheesecake? Makes me feel like a giant. <laughs> I've got brownie, I've not had a brownie in a long time. Don't say much. It's all right. I like this kind of cheesecake. I prefer the ones with a biscuity base. Oh. This is like a, it's a baked cheesecake. Baked it's cheesecake. Yeah. Good 
morning guys we are now on the ferry from Kofiti to Koh-Lanta. It's a little bit hot down here there's no AC but we do have these rotating fans which occasionally face me most of the time are facing it away from me but this is about an hour ferry to get across from Kofiti to Koh Lanta so absolutely could be done on a day trip but we're going to leave this vlog here because we've got about three nights on Koh Lanta and we have three nights on Kofiti so I feel like that was enough time for us I feel like we did everything that we wanted to do whilst we were there and also had a little bit of time to chill it's definitely a more relaxed island but if you have watched this far do like drop us a comment but thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one you need to take my back